one of the most frequently asked questions I receive is, I don't know how to throw and I keep not getting it to stick, so I decided to come up with a video that shows exactly what you should do when you first start throwing a knife. So here is my method to getting your knife to stick. First I'm going to show you how to throw using a couple knives that Joe Broken Feather Dara sent me. Uh, they're about 14 inches in length, so they're longer than your, I would say, your commercial throwing knives. Commercial throwing knives can be between, what, 5 to 10, 12 inches. So when you get into professional, like, I wouldn't say professional knife throwing, it's more of a competition knife throwing. You're going to go for the 12 to 14 inch knives, and I'm going to show you how I figure out how to get them to stick. <laughs> the first throw that you want to have is a half spin throw. And in order to get a half spin throw, you need a throw from the blade. Okay. How I like to grip, currently I have changed it up a bit, but how I like to grip is using my thumb and my index finger and you grip the blade kind of like how you hold a pencil. And this is what I've been doing. So first we're going to use a blade throw. This is what a blade throw would start off as. A uh, handle throw would just be the opposite end, and that's it. So, half spin, blade throw, full spin, handle throw. So we're going to first, first start off with the blade throw. The second step is to figure out your half spin distance, and I would say this is the most difficult part because it can be very frustrating, especially if you're way off in terms of where you start off at. I like to start, especially for the bigger knives, between six to six to eight feet at most. This might be just a six foot half spin throw. For a smaller knife, you might want to start off at five feet. I start off with my left foot forward and my right foot back, kind of like a fighting stance. And then I go back and I rock forward. Kind of like you're just swinging a hammer. So I start off with that and I might not make it, and if I don't make it, I'll just go back. By the position of the knife, because it's angled downwards, I know I have to move back farther than my six foot distance. So let's try that. So here's my six foot mark, and now I'm going to try six and one third of a foot. That's all right, it's okay. So that says I should go a little bit closer, but it might be my throw. So I think about a six, between six foot to a Six and a third foot would be good for a half spin. So now I figured out my half spin throw. Now I'm going to try my full spin throw. My first distance was like six and a third, maybe right between here. I'm going to do three knife lengths from that distance. So I place my knife down here once, and then here, and then three knife lengths from my first starting point. And then I take another marker and I do that. So that's three knife lengths, and I might need to move farther from this point, depending. So now I'm going to try the handle throw, and all I'm doing is gripping the handle using my same, I guess, holding a pencil method. Oh, good. Why do you act so surprised? You just measured it all out. No, sometimes it doesn't work from the three, three knife lengths. Sometimes it's three and a half knife lengths from that first starting point. But it works, so that's great. <laughs> but it might be between three to four knife lengths from your first distance. So I have my full spin, and that's how you figure out your distances.